This video is made possible by Skillshare, an online learning community. And that is one of the ways we make money with YouTube. What's up, my boys? We have been wanting to make this video for a long time um, because we want to show you guys you know, how much do we uh, actually earn on YouTube or how little? You know, it all depends on, on, on what you believe are a high number. Yeah. But I do think that a lot of people, they have this idea that we are earning a lot of money doing YouTube. And we do earn a fair amount of money on YouTube, but we are not becoming millionaires from YouTube, that's for sure. So we want to take you through uh, all our income sources and a few of our expenses. And uh, yeah, just be transparent with you. So we are going to share what we earn from a random month with 65,000 subscribers from YouTube. And we took last month, February. So the main income source that uh, most people associate with YouTube is YouTube ad revenue. And this is every time you watch an ad before or while watching our videos or when we do live streams and we get donations. So once in a while we do a live stream and you guys are so nice to donate some money for us. Yeah. And those money goes into this same basket. It's actually almost half of, of what we earn. Um, on YouTube. On YouTube uh, ad revenue. So if we didn't do any live streams at all, we would probably not get much higher than a thousand dollars a month. So the ad revenue varies a lot from where the viewers come from and our viewers are mainly Portuguese. Actually 50% of our viewers are from Portugal. So if you have 80% people watching from America you will earn more because Americans they buy for higher value. It makes a lot of sense because um, the mean income of a Portuguese uh, is significantly lower than a Danish or an American. And then it also depends on what categories, like what videos you make. For example, if you do videos on finance, you will earn a lot more. I saw this uh, Stephen Graham Stevens. Oh my God, he earns like, uh, like $13 per thousand views. Yeah. And we earn like four. We made nineteen hundred and seventy-seven dollars uh, on YouTube ad revenue in yeah. February. Let's talk about our sponsorships because we do have a few very good sponsorships. And those, those, those are our uh, most important income source because yeah. if if we only have our YouTube ad revenue we are screwed. But last year was actually when we first started to get some sponsorships. Like some serious, yeah. serious companies. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, we've had um, plus 20,000 subscribers since yeah. 2019. But up until that, and actually still to this day. It's it, very difficult. Like to get serious sponsors who have a product we love and who are not trying to just give you their product um, and then you still make a video, you know, that's, that's... And that's another thing, because we are approached by a lot of different companies, but we are not going to collaborate with businesses that we don't really care for. But anyway, let's get down to business, because we have two recurrent sponsorships every month. Yeah, we do have Skillshare, which we have presented to you guys quite a lot. We have a deal right now that it's once uh, a month, and we are actually on a trial period and this is the sixth video of the and the final of the trial so we don't know if they want to uh, continue with us so we might lose this we might keep it we don't know yet but we get uh, 1082 dollars per sponsored segment and since we're already talking about skillshare we might as well thank them for being today's sponsor of this video skillshare is an online learning community where you can obtain some of the most sought after skills in today's world whether it's videography online marketing and almost literally anything you can imagine. One of the things we have used Skillshare for in particular is to learn how to take good photos and just as important, how to edit them. And why is it important to edit your photos? 
well, they look better and you'll be able to look back at your life with greater appreciation for all the experiences you've had. In our opinion, everyone should have the skills to edit good photos. You don't have to have one million followers. Even if it's just your parents and your toy poodle that follows you, it's worth it. And this is what's beautiful about Skillshare. Now everyone has the chance to become smarter and more knowledgeable. And it doesn't matter who you are or where you are. Skillshare helps us on a daily basis in becoming more successful and closer in reaching the goals we have. And for less than $10 a month, you should consider it too. The first 1,000 people to use the link below will get a free trial of premium Skillshare membership. And then we have Surfshark, and Surfshark we have been working with for a year now, and um, we get a bit less from Surfshark because we haven't really negotiated uh, since since the a year time. ago. Yeah, we get seven hundred dollars for every segment we do with Surfshark. And we have a and deal that's uh, every third week. So one month you could potentially have two Surfshark segments. Yes. These two are the ones that we can rely on every month. But sometimes we also have other sponsorships coming in in a certain month or out again the next month. Yeah, like standalone sponsorships such yes. as we had Census Linen, which we still are ambassadors for and endorse. Uh, Portuguese, Portuguese linen company. I think we've done three videos, videos. and we were paid 600 uh, uh, euros per video. Um, but we haven't done anything since, but hopefully in the near future. We hope so. Um, and then a lot of you guys know that we have been doing a lot of videos with Sackless Vacations. So many, but that is without earning anything. We haven't we... been paid uh, anything so far. And for one main obvious reason, um, yeah, some, some uh, disease uh, you might have heard of. Yeah, so actually the deal that we have with Sacrification is that we get a little portion of the leads that we send to them. Yeah. So if you guys want to travel with Sacrification and you book something, we get some of the money from that. We have a lot of leads that are just waiting basically to come out and travel. So once you can, we can go back to traveling, um, this should uh, materialize into a good amount of um, of money f for us. Fingers crossed. We'll see. There is this constant pressure like do we get a sponsorship? Don't do we lose a sponsorship? Do we earn money? Mm. Don't we earn money? Like you we never really know yeah. what the next month is gonna look like. And that is very stressful. And it's also difficult to get the sponsorships unless you are a giant YouTuber, you know? Yeah. The next income source we got is affiliate marketing. We work with select uh, companies that offer affiliate program. That means that every time we sell one of their products, we get a small commission. We only get money when we actually sell something for the company. And that's what we do... Um, with By the Sea, for example. For example, this company here. We agreed on a collaboration where we give you guys a discount code where you get 10% off all their products. And when you purchase something from them, we'll get 11% of what you purchase. So in our description and uh, sometimes in the pinned top comment, uh, you will see a selection of uh, links from different companies. We have border.io, who uh, offers uh, NIF the easy way. We have Amelia's clothing store, which is naked. Um, we don't know how much this earns because we can't track it. Uh, we can just get the clicks. And then if some of you buys, we get a kickback. We also have Surfshark, uh, who also offers an affiliate program in addition to the sponsored segments. So when we do sponsored segments, we don't get any money other than the one-time fee for every lead. And then on other videos where we're not sponsored by them, we get 60% uh, of every lead. And that amounts to between three and $500 a month. Uh, last month it was 625, so that was a good month. Census Linen, Border, and uh, By the Sea is uh, fairly new in terms of affiliate. So that's around 200 euros a month in total. We also have our Patreon, where you guys can click in and support us with a monthly fee. And depending on the package that you decide to sponsor with, you can get a postcard handwritten by us for you. If we were to actually focus on Patreon and from the very beginning, we could have potentially have a monthly income of maybe $2,000. 
but we have just been so bad at being active on Patreon that there is a quick exchange in Patreon. You know, people are like, okay, I don't want this anymore, and then a new one comes, and then they don't want any more. Which makes sense. That makes sense. So yeah, we need to be better at that. Another income source that really <laughs> hasn't earned us anything is our merch. And that is 100% our own fault because I feel like we didn't market this series with the cup, the t-shirts and this beach towel, which is super cool. I love it. You don't sell a lot of this uh, and that might be because we just haven't been good at picking the right merch, designing it. I mean, we have been talking forever about making the hoodies with the... Ate logo yeah, yeah, yeah. and all Ate these Lego. things, yeah, and Sudades and all these things that we didn't do yeah. actually. But we have, uh, since we started, we have earned around six hundred uh, dollars. And we made them January last year. Yeah. So, so uh, not <laughs> a great I mean, income source. But Amelia, should I'm we go hungry. get some lunch? Yeah, let's go. So, $4,928, which is 30,553 Danish kroners. Got you on the thumbnail. <laughs> so, uh, that's how much we earned in February. If you divide that by two, because we are two, that is um, actually not a lot uh, compared to what you would earn in Denmark. Because 30,553 kroners, that is what you get if you are a teacher, in school teacher in Denmark. This is definitely not enough to finance our lifestyle, which is luckily also why this is half of what we earn in total, because the other half comes from our online magazine. And I think the reason why we are able to sustain the lifestyle we have is because we are a company here. So we have a lot of things we can write off, for example, we buy a new drone, when we go on restaurants like this, well, it's part of what we do. So that definitely uh, helps us being able to do what we do. So it's actually important to consider that it took us a little more than three years to be able to earn from YouTube. So when we started our YouTube channel until the beginning of 2020 where we started earning money, we actually spent out of our own savings 350,000 euros on videos, on camera gear, on the content. Everything costs money. We have bought an ungodly amount of equipment since we started as a YouTuber. Like, seriously. And the latest acquisition is this FPV drone that I'm going to fly for the first time right now. I am terrified because this is not anything like our normal drone. Let's try this. Are you ready? I feel like I'm so futuristic. Do it look cool? This is my maiden flight, so uh, I promise you that the uh, footage will get better uh, next time. I just don't want to waste uh, 1500 euros. <laughs> Today our main expenses are the gear and then you have our videos where we go out mostly today 
on on restaurants. So this is this is this is like what we spend our money on today, and we've been so lucky that today we we, we have been able to do collaborations with with most of, of the hotels and Airbnbs we go to. So that has been an extra income source in terms of that we don't have to spend all the money on this, which made our start of YouTube uh, so expensive. So so uh, and of course it's. It's also important that you don't sell your soul and like, yeah, we will stay anywhere. So we are only working with hotels and restaurants where we love what they do. We have always been very fortunate to have money to do what we wanted because we had the magazine and the blog in, Den in Denmark. But now we have reached a point where we also need to earn more money and therefore we also have to increase our income. And some of the ways that we want to do it and some of the ways that a lot of YouTuber does it is by having selling the merch and creating this website where you can have affiliate marketing and we also want to create really good guides so that people can buy the guides and then they can get around in all of Portugal, all the places we know are good. I think the point of this video is that if you want to become a YouTuber, it has to be the drive, the passion for making the videos. You don't become a YouTuber to earn money, at least not until you really reach the next level. And we've been at it this for like four years almost. We're not even close to 100,000 subscribers, which is our ultimate goal. And our views is, you know, up and down. And in addition to what Amelia said, to really get to a, a point where we are financially independent from YouTube, we need maybe four times, five times as many views as we have right now. And we need to take more advantage of all the different income sources as Amelia mentioned. Wanna, we want to make a website here in Madeira where we go in-depth with everything, like the go-to guide of Madeira, because this is our home now and we love this island. So with that said, uh, thanks to all our sponsors. <laughs> thanks to all of you guys who buy through our links. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching in general, because it really is what keeps the engine running. So with that said, Amelia, I'm going to taste this. Oh my god. You like? <laughs> <laughs> so, obrigada guys por ver o vídeo. See you at 100,000 subs. Até logo. Cheers to that. Salud. Cheers Laura. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Até logo. And there's nothing I can do for you